ask you around three to four questions, and you just have to answer frankly. The first one is, do you use autocorrect function in your mobile phone? Yeah. Um, do you find it helpful? Not always. Um, not really. Hardly. Not really. Hardly. You are not really dependent on autocorrect. No. Uh, not always, but there are times where I like autocorrect. How often do you use autocorrect in your mobile phone or in your laptop? Auto? Autocorrect. Have you ever heard of this no. term autocorrect? What is autocorrect? Uh, yeah. That's uh, a kind of a thing that corrects the spelling in the mobile. So how often do you use it? I seldomly use it. As in, uh, in my mobile phone, it's usually on. Would you say that you are fully dependent or partially I dependent on me? Partially dependent on me. Okay. No, I don't like it. <laughs> Could you just briefly explain why don't you like it? Uh, sometimes I use words which I actually want to type, but you know. I mean, fast typing here, just say. Yeah, I know it is auto correct and I really like it. Sometimes I, I always use it. Sometimes I feel like, okay, you know more than me. Uh, stop correcting what I'm typing. I know what I'm typing. But then, yeah, it's technology, it's helpful. Uh, do you know what are hashtags? Hashtags. Hashtags. No. no, I've never, never seen it. Have you heard of this term, hashtag, which you use in social uh, networking websites? I rarely use hashtags in my statement. It is uh, a reference to a like an indirect connection to what they want to say. Mm -hmm. like that. Hashtags, yes. How often do you use it on Facebook or Instagram? Like a lot. Uh, I hope you know what is hashtag. Yeah. Yes. Cool. So, how many of you all use hashtag? Everybody. 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 Okay. Everybody. Where do you use it? Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, yeah, Instagram. Insta, Twitter. Insta. And uh, how often do you use it? Every post of Insta. Not every. Not every. every. Post of Are you aware of emojis, memes that go around the internet? I've heard about it. I haven't. I use them but not frequently. Emojis I use a lot. On WhatsApp and WhatsApp. Do you yes. prefer emojis sometimes over words? Yes, definitely. So according to you they are more expressive? Yes. Very rarely. Very rarely. Yeah. Actually I'm quite actually I, I use a lot. Them. A lot. <laughs> I use them. You use them. Yep. So what do you think? Memes or Emojis are more expressive. Yes, of course, my are all, all that are all that is very useful. So, according to you, what is more expressive, an emoji or a word? Emoji. Emoji. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Uh, emojis, those emoticons which people yeah. are right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they are expressive somewhat. Sometimes words miscommunicate some things, yeah. but emoticons give you the perfect emotion of what you want to speak. Okay. So I'll be giving you two words. You have to spell it out for me. The first one is friend. Can you spell it out, friend, for me? F R I E N D. F R I E N D. F R I E N D. That's guarantee. Okay. Uh, G A U R E T W. That's wrong. Yeah. N T W. Guarantee. That's again wrong. Okay. T A U R A N T W. I'm sorry. That's wrong. But G U A R E N T W. Sorry, that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the next one is tomorrow. Tomorrow. T O M O W R O W. T O M O R R O W. T O W M O W R O W. That's again wrong. Sorry. Definition. T E F I N A T I O N. That's wrong. Sorry. Definition. Okay. Uh, this is the last one. Can you just explain me the meaning of semicolon in English grammar? Grammar, semicolon. Semicolon. So how do you use it? Exactly. I don't know how to explain it in English grammar, but we use it in computers. I really don't know. Like I, I use it, but I really don't know. No idea. Like we want a particular reference to that thing. Half full stop or something like that. So it, it is a. So sort of we can end a statement in it, and you can continue the next statement with it. So it's not necessarily mean the end of a sentence, but if there are a couple of things that you want to convey in a sentence, you use semicolon. It is actually it is like a stop and continue or forward. 
uh, it's used for as a break of tape. Break yeah. of tape, but not, uh, not the entire. End of tape. I'm doing engineering and not literature, so I'm not an expert. A basic in basic idea. A basic what idea. Okay, that this statement which I've said right now has not ended there, but uh, the detail, some detail, extra detail about it, I'm going to present after this interview.